Mr. President, there are some people who are still in detention as a result of the NSAS protest. They were young people who were protesting for justice, for freedom, and for democracy. Any young protester in Nigeria today learn from you because you were the father of protest in Nigeria. Do something about it. Give them the freedom. You taught us, you funded us to stand up and fight. So they are your children and your grandchildren. Give them the pardon. Thank you. And Tinibu never believed that Shehu Sani will expose such things. Everybody knows that Tinibu really was a master of a protest. According to Shehu Sani, you taught us what these innocent children are doing today. You funded us to do that years ago. So how come now you have left all these NSAS protesters to suffer in penalty in prison yard in DSS custody for no reason because they protested for new Nigeria? Tribu never saw this coming. He was the master of protest. He heard Sehu Sani say that. And he was comparing Tinibu to free those that he is still keeping in custody, both in DSS custody and in prison yard. Because sometimes people easily forgot. Our politicians are hypocrites. So many of them. Something you fought for years ago, all of a sudden, you plan with Buhari to kill so many of them because they protested for new Nigeria. In Lekito Gate, today you took over as a president of Nigeria, even though it's by dubious miss, you continue to keep all those people in custody. Those people you collaborated with Buhari to kill so many of them, so many children, because they were protesting. The useless green white green flag that people still parade today as Nigerian flag was turned with so much blood and that is why Nigeria has destroyed and can never be repaired. So many blood has gone. And this man took over as the president of Nigeria through rule and he continued to keep those people in custody. Answer protesters, innocent freedom fighters. These are the things he fought years ago when he started. Does it mean that this man, when they are local and poor, they continue to fight for people's freedom, for people's rights, and when they become rich and sitting in that castle rock, they will change to chameleon. This is what Sheikh Sani was trying to say, though he cannot put it that way. Tinibu was never expected this, expecting this. If he is ordinary civilian now, tomorrow, DSS will knock his door. Mr. Man, you're under arrest for saying so-so and so-so then. This is how it goes in Nigeria. A country like a zoo that Nandekalo called it. Nandekalo has been vindicated. Everything he said about this country is right. Zoo, that is what it is. An animal kingdom that can never be repaired. If not, in which country a man like Obi won election and he was rigged both the National Assembly, both the uh, National Assembly, both the so-called Senate, both the so-called Inec Chairman, both the so-called oh, Judiciary. Hi, what a shame, Judiciary of Nigeria. You are stand with so much atrocities. The poor masses suffer to vote for person that they want to be their president. You rigged it because of bribery. 50 billion dollars did i say 50 billion dollars no it was 50 million dollars we are still waiting for you to confess but before i deviated shehu sani was talking about innocent South protesters that was kidnapped by dss jail for no reason some of them killed to date they claim it was unknown soldier just like they claim in Fela's aspect when they kid her mother. Even though I know that that fool, Sheikuti, does not behave like his father at all at all. But we must continue to say the truth. 
the way it was and the way it still is. Tinibu released answer protesters and freedom fighters who are fighting for the freedom of their people for a country that has continued to remain dumb and dull. You don't expect people to continue to remain in a country where things is not working. No doubt you came into Asorok through Wuru, but does it mean that it cannot change that Wuru style and make Nigeria great so that people can be able to win election and vote into office instead of INEC changing the whole result or the judiciary changing the whole thing because you and your Buhari made it possible. Buhari was the president then. You were Buhari's candidate. And for that reason, he used his neck and everything to rig you into office. And when you get into office, he used judiciary to make it work. Because you were the one that appointed the chief judge. He removed Buhari's own and appointed their own. And he was the one that rigged everything in judiciary, in, in, in court. So we should start to tell ourselves the truth. What for me, I mean, what uh, 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 the other man, the Senate, the Senator, Shehu Sani was saying is the fact. Release those you have kept in custody, Tinibu. What they are doing today is your full step, what you taught them. According to Shehu Sani, he said, in exact words, you funded us, you pushed us into doing it. So why are you keeping those who are doing it today in custody? It's nothing but selfishness, greed, just to be a leader. People must go down. That is it. I don't think I have more to say. Like I have always said, Nam the car has always been right. This is a zoo. And we only stop calling it a zoo the day this will work normal the way it's supposed to be. Maybe then. We have left the country. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe or share this news. It's very important. I remain the man unknown.